Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, I'm 41 years old. I don't get around like I used to. It takes me a minute to get started. I don't want to hear any yelling about it. I am an old man. I shouldn't even know how to hook up half of this stuff. You're lucky I'm not in here every day yelling like crazy Joe about the boards and the people behind the magic screens that I can or can't trust. Okay, it's a miracle just to be here with you. hellfire of life continues. Welcome everybody. I hope you've grown in this past uh, week or two. I hope you've learned to accept our Lord and Savior, uh, Senator Kamala Biden. Okay. I hope you have come to terms with it. We will be led by the cuck left. Okay. Towards a, oh, thank you so much for the subs. That means so many more uh, things to me than you'll ever probably know. Um, thanks though. That really means a ton. Uh, but anyway, welcome to, uh, the things I don't know about you. I just got back, uh, trying to do this diet, which I think is horrible timing because, uh, you know, nothing coming up except Thanksgiving and, uh, I'll be damned if I'm not going to just stuff myself like a turkey. What is everybody doing for Thanksgiving? You know, we've been advised, if you if you haven't been paying attention here in the United States, we are about to go back uh, into a hell of a serious lockdown. Like, shit is hitting the fan. What was this one story that I saw about, uh, uh, is it Oregon or Georgia, where you're going to have to wear a mask indoors, even in some situations at your own house? What the fuck was that? I saw some some article about that, which to me is fucking bananas. I woke up this morning uh, pretty sick. Uh, I don't know how long of a show this will be, just a warning right off the top, but I did want to pop on and just yell about some daily things and uh, get some thoughts. Also, if anyone in the chat, just a uh, heads up for uh, just a production note, if anybody can help me out with this. If you can look up and find out if Hubble uh, contact lenses... Hubble has an 800 number that you can call if you're experiencing uh, problems with their products. Because I will be screaming about that this week. Last week it was uh, it was um, UPS for losing track of my iPhone 11. In case you hadn't heard the news, uh, the iPhone 11 is here. Got it. It's sharp. I uh, got a message on here. I can't show you that sh- that stuff, but uh. Uh, this could be a serious message. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's an, that's a housing related issue. Anyway, I've got the iPhone 11. It is dope. I've spent a week with this thing, uh, now, and I gotta tell you, I love the phone. It's quick. It's snappy. Uh, I'm into it. If you're gonna get the iPhone 12, I said iPhone 11, didn't I? The fuck is wrong with me guys? I've got, I'm really slipping. I think you turn a certain age, uh, you have enough weed and everything just starts melting together in your head. Nothing I say makes sense anymore. Drifting in and out of consciousness. I put in these Hubble bubble, uh, contact lenses, which have me a little loopy. This is a real number to Hubble, Hubble support care, Hubble care and support. Um, wow. Okay. Thank you very much. I will copy that because I'm going to have to call and yell at them um, about it. Uh, but uh, just to let you know, so I'm waiting to move into this house. I think the closing date is uh, 1st of December. Uh, 1st of December, I get the call today that all the financing's done, the underwriting's done. They're ready to rock and roll. What I'm waiting on is a thing called a set of CICs. From a place called an HOA. Just a lot of acronyms being thrown around willy-nilly. HOAs have these rules, you know. And before you buy a property, um, I'd like to have a look over the rules. These are the things that say whether you can or can't build a pool. These are the things that say whether you can or can't do uh, X in your front yard. Paint your house uh, what color. 
Um, you know, that you're not allowed to have your trash bins out in your front yard past a certain hour of the day. You know, if the sun's um, coming from the east and Jupiter's in retrograde. Don't call that number. It's Hungry Howie's uh, between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern time, though. Yeah, well, I will call them. I, I'm very angry about it. So we've been waiting for over three weeks for uh, my my agent and I have been waiting to get these uh, CICs, they're called, from the HOA. I thought you buy a house for no rules. Yeah, I wish that's how it fucking worked. But obviously, like, it's taking for fucking ever. This is like weeks and weeks in now. It's making me a little nervous. We still have several weeks to close, and I still can pull out if I don't agree with something in these rules. Um, but it's just very frustrating because it's eating up time. And if I do have to pull out of this property, I swear to God, I might brush my teeth with a bullet. Um, because I got to start all over again, start the hunt all over again. And then start this whole process over again. The financing, the inspection, not to mention the appraisal. All this money that's been wasted, $500 for an appraisal, $150 for for application uh, fees and here to withs and there to force. A lot of, a lot of English and uh, Latin language, legalese that you don't need to concern yourselves with as average citizens, okay, at ease. But, um, yeah, that's what it is, and uh, it's just it's very uh, nerve-wracking. Meanwhile, I'm combing through shit here, throwing out. Uh, so tomorrow morning, hell or high water, some man with a temperature gun is going to storm in here at 10 a.m. and install on the back wall here, uh, far over here, way off camera, uh, into this wall, an air conditioning unit that I have been begging for since I moved in last year and since, uh, I don't know what, July of this year when it started baking. But now that mid-November is here, everybody, no fear. My rental company is finally coming to install a wall unit air conditioner in mid-November. So good on them. That's helpful and no reason, no bearing at all uh, to me on why I might be fucking moving out of this place. Fucking insane. Um, if you are one of the people who keeps sending me suggestions about real estate agents and pools, kindly fuck off, okay? Can you imagine a world in which I am purchasing a home and thinking about building a pool, which is a very expensive decision, and you, from wherever you live, and this is to nobody specific because there's been several people, so you're not one, you're not like getting yelled at. Imagine me needing your help finding a place to live. You know, you're sending me real estate links. Like, what the f Like, from where? From Kenosha? I don't need help finding a place. Why am I sniffling and tearing up? Is it marijuana? What am I allergic to? I've taken 17 Zyrtex. I couldn't sleep last night. I woke up in the middle of the night sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. Kathleen had to go sleep with her father-in-law, who's my dad. Um, but I'll tell you this, man. I, I, I don't know if it's COVID or what, but all day long my ass has been kicked. I've been just drinking coffee and taking warm, long, liquidy shits. Run the Roomba. Get that carpet clean. From what? What's on the carpet? I don't know if that's what it. I don't think it's. I don't know. It's got to be like uh, allergies or something in the goddamn air. I don't know what runs in in the middle of fucking uh, December, but I can't tell you this. I can't wait to be in this house, this new house. You know, this is this is a a year old home, and it's a it's a what's known as a uh, Energy Star certified home or some shit like that. And basically, it's got a fucking watertight tight envelope on this motherfucker. It's going to be tight. You know, there's not going to be any uh, leaks and no dust and allergens sweeping in through cracks. When was this, this thing was built in the goddamn 70s? Piece of shit. You act like he's left the house 
since he got back. That's not true. I, I went to Walmart today to pick up a, an online order, um, which I almost got in a wreck. This is where we get to the Hubble part. I'm very upset. Mike Monjo sounds like shells like clo shells like COVID. Don't know what that means. He had a Kirkland eye exam too. Yeah, that's right. I did. I went out to uh, our buddies at Costco. Kirkland eye exam. Oh God. Yeah, I've been going through the. I think I think I've got something, but I don't know how it could be COVID. But if it is, you know, sweet sweet death. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Do you know how upset I would be if I spent my last two weeks on Earth before COVID wiped my frail, fragile body from this mortal coil? If I spent the last two weeks of my life packing up all this fucking equipment, lugging it over to the new place, you know, waiting for movers, organizing all that shit, you know, going through the hassle of uh, organizing a pool build, this kind of thing. And then dying, that's how I spent my last fucking days. No, thank you, please, very much. Today is the first anniversary of the first COVID case. Well, fucking cheers to that. We did it, everybody. The first COVID case. In the world. But now I'm sneezing and I'm sniffly and I'm wondering. <laughs> All last night, I'm waking up like this. I got the runny nose, you know, I, 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 I um. I'm seeing double, thanks to Hubble. So Hubble sends me, you know, I go get these new contact lenses. And Hubble, if you haven't seen this company, is one of these uh, just slick marketing-type gimmicky companies. And they say that you can get contact lenses. Uh, are the AirPods still up for the raffle and the fill the pool? That, and I think we got a cop, a, a Blu-ray a uh, copy of the Matrix Renner somewhere. Um, so I get some of these. They send me some of these Hubbles to try. And I put them in my eyes right now. And I swear to God, they're just, they're they're tearing up. They're watering. Like they're juicing my eyeballs. Everything is double. I can't read my phone in front of my, I'm, I'm, I'm having to pull my phone away. But you want to see if, how well I'm, I can read my fucking phone? Um, God damn. Oh now that now it's pretty good. I don't know. I I are you, how close are you supposed to be able to read a fucking phone? I don't know. Are you guys like are are you hurt? Hold on. God damn it. You heard these are terrible. Well, I might agree with you. But I think they're made by you know all these contacts are made by like the same companies, right? Well, who are these made by? I can't see. This is the problem. I can't even read who these are made by. This is how they get you. How am I supposed to sue the fucking company? How am I going to go after Hubble Inc., Big Hubble, Big Eyes, Big Contact Lenses, Big Daddy Plastics? If I can't even read the number on here, they call, you know, there's an 800 number, but they're gone. How fucking convenient. Go get some cheaters. What the fuck does that mean? Just get AccuView Oasis. I got some of those, too. I got some AccuView Oasis here. And then I got some of the Alcon Precision ones. You know about these? All the like all the rappers are doing these. Reading glasses. What year? Can you imagine I come in here with reading glasses? How much I'll get made fun of? Way more than usual. You still have to adjust your eyes to the 12 Pro. Figured it adjusted to your eyes. Nowadays, I don't know how any of it works. I just know that I like the screen, but I also don't have it uh, on the on the retard enhanced giant mode. You know, you first took you first set up one of these Apple phones. Now it'll uh, it it'll, it'll um, ask you as part of the setup: Do you want regular, normal people mode? or larger icons? Larger icons, larger fonts by default. There's two modes. And you can go in and switch it, I think, under appearance or accessibility. I don't even think it's a, it, it's an accessibility feature. It, it, it's kind of an aesthetic thing. Like, it's just part of the thing. They must know, like, hey, we got enough olds using this, so we better make it a menu option when setting up. Because old people will have it back here. Like, I don't know what's going on. Japanese make good contacts. 
I don't know. I figured it was like eyeglasses, and there's like three companies that make all of them. I just know this. It feels like squids, giant squids have attacked my eyeballs. It's pouring out of here now. Um, it's upsetting me to my core, to uh, on you know, of my being. First, they steal the election from Emperor Trump. Now this. This show, by the way, brought to you by uh, Cheryl's Barrels. You won't find anyone uh, who can Cooper better than these guys, local or global. I dare you to find a matching uh, barrel cost per unit. Get your CPUs down. Call Cheryl over at Cheryl's Barrels. Tell them I sent you for up to something off. Um. Also, uh, Rick's is having a special where if you show up with Hubble contact lenses and can tell how many wings he's holding up, uh, you get unlimited condiments for as long as you stay seated. Uh, if you get up to go to the bathroom, you are out and you will have to pay for your entire bill. And it is backwards. It does, it does retro, it goes back. So if you get, look, you sit down and eat 90 wings, get up and go to the bathroom without paying, and you got to pay for those 90 wings plus whatever else you have. I don't know the rules. It's a very weird promotion. Rick's is doing it. Um, but, you know, they do controversial, weird stuff all the time. These contacts are burning my eyes. I don't know what it is. It feels like a witch got hold of a spell that, um, you know, Makes for not a very good time when it comes to eyes. <laughs> I don't know a better way to, to really say that to you. Um, but that that is 100% truth. It feels like somebody... And I don't want to make... I don't want to shit... Who makes Hubbles? It, it has to be like Bao Shalom or some... Some bigger eyeglasses company. Throw the glasses on. That would make me completely fucking bonkers. Also, I don't think I have them in here. You know what I do have in here? Fucking pool estimates, steak boxes, chromosome. Do you know how, how startling it is to get woken up in the morning by a push notification from an app called 23andMe that says your DNA is now queued for processing? Jesus Christ, that sounds like some fucking George Orwell shit. The shape is wrong for your eye, uh, maybe. Hubble contacts are made by Saint Shine Optical. Yeah, I've never been a fan of Saint Shine. Now, are they available to get a hold of uh, during non-business hours? More acid in your eyes? Maybe. Maybe Kathleen is slowly but surely um, pouring acid in my eyes and and rotting them out. Slowly but surely. You know, I've been doing all for two days. I've been going through uh, bins and bins and bins. I am, I am uh, not zip tying, but Velcro tying. Every cable in this fucking house, every USB to micro USB, USB to uh, mini USB, every USB to lightning, every... USB A to USB B. She's putting uh, it in your contacts case when you're not looking. Yeah, maybe. Uh, all my XLRs, all my power cables, all my power bricks, all my wall warts. Tied, organized. I got an Ethernet networking uh, bin. I got a audio bin. I got an equipment bin. I got a weird prop bin that has everything from finger puppets to hats to Christmas lights. Winter mystery boxes going live in the store. I would say in the next week, I got to sit down and do some store stuff. We still have so much fucking shit to put out onto the feeds. Uh, if you haven't joined the overdose, it's a great time. Remember, the price is going up uh, in the new year. We will not be $10 anymore. You can lock in that $10 price now. 
Uh, so much stuff going up on the overdose. We have part three of the election special still to put up. That is the shortest part. It's about an hour and a half. The, th- the second part's already up. There was a four-hour part from this past weekend. we got a post-election wrap-up to put up. We have a birthday show. We have an after-birthday show to put up. We have this show to put up. Some of it will be overdose. Some of it will not. How can you be sure you get everything? Join the overdose. $10 a month. Nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. Do you have any slide whistles? I actually do. I have the original slide whistle. I I was I just handled it today and packed it away. The very original uh, slide whistle. So I have all that, but everything you know for the most part is getting tidied up, nice and neat. Every cable, I've had so much garbage slung everywhere, but now you know. Look at these. Look how nice and neat all the cables. These are USB C to regular USB that I need to have for certain equipment. Microphones, uh, mic arms, lighting, it's all got to be packed. It's all going to be really efficient to access and store because it's going to be so much less space over in the new place. And also, I just got to throw away stuff. Like, I don't need S-video cables and stuff. You know what I mean? I'm throwing away, like, Cat 5 cables. If it's not Cat 6, I'm not interested. I'm throwing away all the older slower speed USB 1, USB 2 um, cables. You know how many USB cables you end up with over time? Enough is enough, everybody. Uh, Address the controversy of Kool-Aid cucking you with Kathleen uh, pre-op. I don't know what that means. Um, I would never lie to you about this. You have my word on it. I don't know anything about Kool-Aid doing anything to me. Uh, if he did, he better watch his back, you know, but as far as I can tell, like people don't really mess with me. You know what I mean? Like a few people have tried. They've learned their fucking lesson. Like, uh, Kool-Aid. I can't even imagine going after this. I started to have this little thing with uh, Kamala Harris. You know, she won't even fucking address it. She won't even acknowledge that I exist. Why don't you donate the cables to the homeless? Well, you know, it's a viable option. If you have a, a, a charity in mind that you think could use the cables, please let me know. I'd be happy. I'd actually be very interested in probably donating some of those to them. Um, any fire wires? Yes, actually. I got fire wired of uh, eight pins, six pins. What do you need? Or before it got stuck on, before the wiener got cut. What? Come on, man. Don't talk about my wife and her penis. Grow up. Um. Oh yeah, stupid. I. I well, I say stupid, but I shouldn't insult him. Uh, everybody's favorite ought. <laughs> Steven Branch is uh, now my official networking consultant. Um, and I don't want to, you know, like give him a bigger head or anything, but he's come in. He's taken a look at the, the new place. He's told me what I need. He's told me to go with a Unify as our wife, as our wireless uh, provider and also the provider of some of our routing equipment and stuff. Um, he says that that's cool, but yeah, somebody in the chat brings up the point that I, I was already going there. Get ready for the key loggers. It's like, yeah, I mean, of course, like, why wouldn't this guy hack everything? He, you know, I've gotten some equipment off this guy in the past, including some used Mac equipment and stuff like that. He, he, you know, he could install all kinds of shit. And be infiltrating it. You know, now he's got computers in the network. Now he's controlling the actual network. Who's to say where we go from here? Um, But, you know, I am a sucker for... He says, "I look, I was going to go with Eero Pro. I've been researching these mesh systems for a long time. I was going to go Eero Pro. but, But, you know, admittedly, I don't know anything about this stuff. I do so, you know, I do research on reviews and stuff. I read about the the Velop from Linksys, you know. And then Unify also has uh, another system they call the Amplify. That's a mesh networking system. So, like, what's better? They're fucking access points and controllers 
or they're 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 uh, uh, own competing products. They got an amplified mesh system. They got um, uh, this thing called the Dream Machine, which looks like a fucking HomePod stretched out. That's like an all-in-one Wi-Fi router, uh, firewall. It's like these are all competing products with themselves. Like so, so who, who am I supposed to trust? They say that uh, that uh, Cisco sucks, and we all know Cisco is the best. This conversation is really branching out. I've got Orbi; it's worked well. Um, I don't know about Orbi. Isn't Orbi? I know this: if you don't have if you don't have a a tri band, if you're looking for a mesh network and you don't have a tri band. Uh, mesh network, your uh, SOL. Because most of these, most of these uh, consumer grade uh, mesh solutions are dual band, you know, and that is just gonna. You need that. They they use a third band on the five gigahertz frequency. I think for like backhaul communications between your mesh, and that's what you need. That's the difference between the Eero and the Eero Pro. If you're using the standard Eero, you know, this is cute for like your mom um, to hook up her uh, wireless picture frame and to like get some work emails at home and to stream Netflix. That's cute for your mom. Yeah, why don't you get her the regular Eero? The Eero Pro, you got it. And now the new one has a Zigbee uh, uh, hub inside of it. You can connect like 150 fucking things to this, but then you know, stupid branch comes along. He's like, "Oh, you can you can hook up a thousand things to this. Plus, it's going to cost you way more down the line." So I'm like, "Fuck it, I'm in." And he's like, "Great, uh, but if I give you this stuff, you got to send me a bunch of uh, old T-shirts from the show." And I was like, "Cool, I was going to burn those anyway." Mostly, you know what I do with the old shirt shows uh, before I end up probably throwing them all away when I leave here with the old logos because they're so cringe. I can't even really sell them. This will be when the bonus boxes go out. This will be like to blow out these shirts, but I'm not kidding. I probably got a thousand shirts. We got a lot of shirts. We've done 25 different, uh, probably 50 different shirts over the years. And now we do them in a totally different way where they're like drop ships. So I don't have them here. But back in the day when I used to have them here, you know, we'd have to like predict order everything. So I got like 25, 50 of every shirt, you know, because you got to have all the sizes. So we'll blow them out. Netgear. Yeah, I don't know. Netgear, Linksys, uh, D Link, TP Link. A lot of links going on. Something up with that? I don't know. Call your comptroller about it. Um, but either way, yeah, I'll send him a bunch of shirts. He'll send me some networking equipment, but I, but apparently I got to get these Unify cameras to, uh, if I, cause I'm switching, I'm doing a whole new security setup too, with the cameras and stuff around the new house. And I got to have, uh, uh, cameras. He's like, Oh, Unify does it all. You'll get the cameras. You'll get night See, This is all like consumer grade shit. Also, like, how dumb are gamers? Gamers have to be probably the dumbest fucking people on the goddamn planet when it comes to, like, actually knowing about products. And don't get me wrong. Like, they might know some things, but, like, you can make a gamer buy anything by, like, making it have jagged edges and RGB lights. Like, gamers are super into, like, uh, uh, we can see your hair billowing out of the back of the rig set. Yeah, I hope so. I haven't had a haircut in almost nine months. Probably nine months, yeah. I hope it's billowing out. That means I'm very virile and I can grow hair. Um, but thank you. Yeah, I am i don't know. I was thinking about getting a haircut, but now clearly we're going back into some crazy lockdown type situation. So why not just keep the party going? Just keep the hair growing. You never know where the boat is rowing. That's how... A daddy likes to eat the dough, and I don't know what that means, and I apologize for that speaking out of turn right there. Yeah, that Nighthawk is, like, all jagged and has, like, the 19 antennas, you know? It looks like something Skrillex came up with, and it just, like, uh, you know, and it's fine. I'm not saying it's bad, but, like, you can't just put nine fucking antennas on a thing. Go full Howard Hughes. Oh, yeah, I'll just start pissing in jars and not trusting loved ones. 
Yeah. Why not? Why not? Everything's on the table. It's 2020, the year that will never end, everybody. we got a month and a half left. I hope you're happy. I'm happy, and I hope you're strapped in uh, for what the future may bring. Um, I know that uh, I, I'm not too happy about it, but then again, what can a motherfucker do about it? Um, but I'll tell you what, like I've not been well today. I, I woke up, uh, sweating, but I never drink hot coffee. I rarely drink hot coffee. Um, maybe now that it's getting cold, I will, but usually I start the day with an iced coffee. Um, don't judge. It's just kind of what daddy does. And I'll have, you know, anywhere from two to 16 of those, uh, throughout my morning. I catch up on the news and stuff before I start doing anything. And by doing anything, I mean shifting cheeks. Um, before I continue doing nothing and, uh, don't sit too close to those access points, especially if you want to have more kids with Kathleen. Oh, are they not rated for, uh, cause what you need is more antennas. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the problem with those, uh, at all. Stop distracting me. This is, I find this very rude. Um, oh my God. How many motion alerts are going off in my house? Am I being swarmed by the, uh, Federales. <laughs> um, join our Green Earth Gives initiative to help feed the hungry this holiday season. Bring in a can of food until 1126 and get 10% discount on your purchase. This is a, uh, uh, it's called GE Green Earth Collective, GEcollective.com. Uh, that I was like spending the night in uh, LA. I think they're around Burbank or, uh, Maybe Glendale-ish. I don't think they're past it. Maybe Pasadena. Anyway, I was out there and needed some weed. So I went to this weed place, and now they text me, I don't know, once every 13 days with, like, deals, as if I give a fuck. Have something in your system that tracks whether or not the people you're texting actually ever even come to your store. Because if they don't, you can probably stop texting them. Also, uh... God, don't you ever wish you would have held on to Bitcoin or not lose, lost so much of it on a phone that you formatted by accident? Because Bitcoin, I don't know if you guys have noticed, about $3,000 in the past week has gone up. About 1000 today, I think it's gone up. People keep texting me as if I'm like the Bitcoin con point of contact for uh, several different friends groups, but, um, you know, not really in the game anymore. Um but God, do I wish I was. Holy shit, it's going to be worth 20000 before the end of the year, which is the highest it's ever been. If only we believed in it as much as we don't believe in ourselves. Am I right, everybody? Come on. I am thinking about suing Hubble, though, for what they're doing to my eyes as we speak. And people say, Patrick, why don't you just take them out if they hurt that much? Well, then I wouldn't have much of a case, would I? Why can't you do that? Like if you sued a company, if you, if you were like using their contact lenses and then like you went blind from like using their contact lenses and you sued them in court and won, you know, like it wasn't even disputed The both the judge and the jury and even, even their lawyer, you know what I mean? Even the defendant's lawyer, Hubble's lawyer, St. Shine Optical. Their lawyer was like, wow, Patrick, you really got fucked over. You got done dirty. That was wrong. Then why? Answer me this, okay? And again, it's not even disputed. The jury's on my side. The judge's on my side. Everyone's on my side. The president of the company comes up. And he's like, fuck, man, we, we fucked you over hard. We knew those contacts had blind blindness poison on them, and we sent them out anyway. Then Why? And answer me this seriously and think about it before you do. Answer me why. If everybody agrees, right? If everyone's on my side and they totally agree, I had no no fault of my own. They made me blind, right? Like people are calling me at home going like, we knew how it would go. We hoped how it would go because we knew you were innocent. We knew it was them. They've been making the blind potion for the contact lenses. Everybody agrees, right? No one on earth. There's not a person on earth. And you're like, Patrick, if nobody on earth thought that they didn't do it, then how, then, 
then why would they even be in court? Well, you know, they had a change of heart once they saw the evidence. But nobody even disagrees. Everyone thinks it was, I'm in the right, okay? I win the lawsuit. Then tell, then answer me this. Then tell me this one thing, right? Then how come I can't just get my vision back? Oh, uh, if you don't think that was funny, I need you to unsubscribe from this show because you don't get it anymore. And you might say, Patrick, was there ever really anything to get? And was that really a funny bit to you when you kept it circling back and going like, everybody agrees? <laughs> then answer me this. Did you really think that was a funny bit, Patrick? Yes, I did. And it brought me more joy than most of anything you guys have done uh for me for the past six and a half years wow patrick six and a half years what was so special about six and a half years ago you do the math and again that was a really funny one to me um that was a shaggy dog story what was it what's a shaggy dog story I want to make sure that's not some sort of subtle insult to me, but it better not be. I'll tell you that. Uh, we're not going to be here too much longer. Is there anything you guys want to talk about? Um, there were some dumb suggestions on um, Instagram and Facebook. Let's go through here. Da, 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 da. I always ask, by the way, if you're not following us on Instagram, NL Onions on Instagram and also uh Nobody likes onions. Like our Facebook page, but even more importantly, join our Facebook group. They're two separate things, and uh, two separate things. Uh, oh, there's a good one. Um, talk about your perfect pool, pool ideas. Did you get a pool? Are you building a pool? Listen, I've gone on ad nauseum about the pool. I don't really want to keep getting into it, frankly. Um, so please leave me alone and please uh, give my family and I some privacy at this time when it comes to pool. How about the votes they're finding? No one is talking about it. I'm going to get out of the politics stuff, but I'll tell you right now. Um, you know, I'll tell you right now, again, if you think you know what's going on, if you're on the side of Biden or the Democrats or the left or whatever you want to call it, and you're going, oh, my God, Biden won and Trump is claiming fraud where there is no fraud. What a Trump. You're an out of it who's not paying attention. Um, if you're on the other side and you're going like, oh, my God, rampant voter fraud everywhere. This is the Manchurian candidate. Um, you're a fucking out of it. There are some suspicious, suspicious things. Look into the Dominion voting. Nobody's talking about this. Look, and they did this recount in Georgia and they just found 6,000 ballots that counted for Trump, you know, just found them. And they were like, that's the point of a recount It's to find, to fix it. It's like, no, the point of a recount should just, everything should be the same. It shouldn't change. I would argue that if you count votes in a county and then you count them again and there's 6,000 new votes that appeared, then you should probably do a third count. Because, like, what, what's the likelihood that your second count's any more right than your first count? So there's a lot of fuckery going on. I don't know. I don't care anymore. You're all blind. We're all sheep. They're all Who's going to win is who's, who's who they want to win. And if you're out there rah rahing for either team, you are, you're a pawn and you're being used. And don't you ever forget it. This is an interesting one. Most of these are dumb and I skip over them, but this is an interesting one. And it's from Car Carter Pillar. Uh, it says, Cockroaches, what are they like? Any anecdotes? I've never seen one in real life. Well, it's weird for a caterpillar to have never seen a roach. You're both little animals. You're both down there on the ground. Um, so I don't know. I would look, I would, uh, you know, adjust your life and probably get out more. 
Um, but again, one of the things I'm so happy about this new house is it's a new house. It's going to have a tight, tight envelope. There's not going to be any creepy, crawly bugs getting in everywhere. I fucking love that. I love that it's going to be nice and clean. And uh, because there are, I have seen, I've seen probably two roaches in this house in the kitchen, which is typically where they are. Kathleen and the kids, they leave a mess. You know, the kids are always eating Icy Pops and dripping them. We have an ice cream truck that goes by here always around 9 p.m., you know, smells like weed out the back. But the kids love it. They run, they wake up, they run out, they grab an ice cream. Drip it in the kitchen while I beat their ass, tell them to get back to bed. It's a nightly thing we do, and I mean nightly, sometimes twice. Um, but there are a couple different kinds of roaches, I guess. When I lived in Florida, um, which is, I guess, the kind we have here, and definitely the kind that I saw that I've seen a ton of in uh, Sydney, Australia, it's the big roaches, the palmetto bugs. These are the, these are ones that could fly. Probably like uh, two, three inches long. And uh, big boys. Um, if you see one, it means there are 500 more in the walls. Yeah, they have they've they say that. I've heard uh, 200. But basically, yeah, if you see one, there's a lot more. Because, I mean, they they infest places. They It's nests of these things. Um, but. Um, they can come and go into your house and out of your house. Now, upstate or, or, or up in north, you get a little different kind of bug up there. You get a short little roach, tinier little roach, which I, I don't know which one's more gross, frankly. Probably the big ones, the big ones that fly at your head. Are you on Trump's team helping with voter fraud? No, I'm not on either anybody's team um, other than truth. Um, what time, what time we have here, Buck, those flying roaches. Okay. Well, that was a sentence that sounded like a stroke victim got a hold of a keyboard. They move in herds. I don't know, but I will tell you this, like the other day, like even somebody as level headed as Roy and Roy's pretty left for Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, he's on board with wearing masks and cucking up, uh, for the most part. Um, but I even said to Roy the other day on the show, which if, if you didn't hear it, it will be put out um, uh, on the feed, probably the overdose feed maybe soon. Um, I said to Roy, like, wouldn't you, can you admit that there's a left bias on like Facebook and Instagram and uh, Twitter and things like this? Like they're banning right accounts. They're banning Republican accounts. They're banning... The New York Post for posting the thing about Hunter Biden's laptop. They're, when they didn't ban the New York Times for posting the thing about Trump's taxes, even though both of those were obtained illegally. That's the argument. Um, Twitter says, well, we banned the New York Post because they posted Hunter Biden's laptop contents were ob obtained illegally. And they're like, well, the New York Times, you let publish Donald Trump's tax returns, and those were obtained illegally. And they're like, yeah, well, but still. So, like, uh, that's the argument. And, and, Zuckerberg and uh, what's his name, Jack Dorsey, who's the CEO of both Twitter and Square. Sometime, somehow, <laughs> we get it, Elon. Um, he, uh, they're both on there being questioned, like point blank, about banning and how it works and the algorithm, and even like that they have all these covert tools that they communicate with other social media networks and Google and stuff to coordinate banning certain people and right-wing media and talk about it. And they just got caught with this shit point blank. If you're not watching these hearings, um, uh, I, I never been a, what's his name? Ted Cruz. Is that the, is that the Texas guy with the, with the sharp count Dracula nose? Why does wearing a mask mean you're on the left? Um, it's so dumb. The right is all aboard the anti-science wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but a mask is the left because the right is the other one. I don't I think there's people on both sides that wear masks. I'm just saying that's the image. That's how we politicized it in this country, right? We've drawn that line. The right thinks that the virus is uh, overhyped by the leftist mainstream media, so they're refusing to wear a mask as a political statement. 
when I would I would agree with you that is not wise and it goes against science. Everybody should probably mask up. Seeing how ICUs in a lot of, uh, especially rural, smaller areas, North Dakota, South Dakota, even Tulsa, Oklahoma, Roy said the other day, ICUs are full. People are dying. 1,500 people a day are dying, up from 1,000. And, you know, the water's not even boiling when you look around. If you think about March, beginning of April, when everybody's like, holy shit, 1,000 people a day, 1,500 people a day. 2,000 people a day. This is out of fucking control. We were losing our minds. It was like, don't go to the store. Don't go to the bathroom. You know, COVID is out there. We're really at like almost 1,500 a day now, and everybody's just calm, cool, collected. It's all the news. Is election, election, election. Nobody even, it's like their masks have just been put up in a in a, a, a cabinet somewhere. We've forgotten about it. The only news I get is from the guy who runs the bus tours at the Hoover Dam. Yes, Ted Cruz is the worst. We tried to replace him with sexy Beto, but uh, too many rural people who vote are no matter what. Yeah, but here's the thing. I did like Ted Cruz when he was fucking ripping apart Jack Dorsey and and, uh, and Zuckerberg. Because these guys, by the way, these companies don't create anything. They make money off our content, our, our, our information and links. You know, these are just ad companies. When you break down their bottom line, they all just make ad dollars. The world would be better off without them, believe it or not. And, like, you ask these guys, like, hey, will you get, are you prepared to say that you will deliver to this committee uh, a list of uh, right wing pundits and left wing pundits that you banned from your platform? They can't even say that they will get it to them. They come on there and they always just go, I will, we will have to look into that. I'm not aware of it. We'll have to see if that's possible. I'm not even uh, uh, sh sure if we have that kind of data. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. And then some whistleblower, I guess, from Facebook, like they were hitting Zuckerberg with this shit left and right today. They were like, you know, here's an internal tool, screenshots of it, where you guys flag uh, right wing posts and talk about them internally and ban them. And you can tell uh, if they visited websites of things that gun owners might visit and target them based on that kind of stuff. Like it's just weird, creepy shit. And these companies are fucking awful. And they're all just like jerking off to your data. And it's about enough. It's about enough of it. So I like it when their feet get held to the fire a little bit, you know, call me, call me a, a an old fashioned cynic. But I like it. He's a, uh, He is smart and a good debater. He's Cuban-Canadian who went to Princeton and Harvard. Great. Great, great, great. But I love those guys because they, like, they won't say, ah, oh, well, I'm not really familiar with that. We'll have to check into that. We'll look into that. It's like these guys are fucking you hard. They know more about us than, they, than we know about ourselves. It's real. It's happening. Strap in. This is the end. Don't forget to get your InfoWars bumper sticker. <laughs> um, but I like it if you think if you think it isn't. I like that if you th I like that you think Biden's elected now and we're all going to have peace and everything's going to be great. If you're one of those people, I hope you're right. I really do. Um, I hope it's great. Big tech is the worst. I work in tech. I they pretend to be left, but they actually do so much evil. I, I mean, I think the left is evil. I think the extreme left and the extreme right are evil. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't think that that's, you know, I don't think that that necessarily speaks against whatever the fuck they actually stand for. Um, do, 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 do. I just got a Huffington Post news alert. It says Republicans congratulate and even fist bump Vice President-elect Kamala Harris on the Senate floor for some unnamed reason. Yeah, man, it's getting weird out there. Uh, guys, I don't feel great. I need to get out of here. I need to wrap it up a little bit. Thank you for uh, hanging with me a bit. We do have a lot of stuff coming out. If you've joined the Overdose, stay tuned. Uh, lots of stuff coming there. Um, more and more stuff coming out here and I will have to start ramping up frequency of shows. Uh, God, once I feel a little bit better, um, because we'll have to start banking some stuff to, uh, to put out when we do, 
finally tear the studio down and have to have a little hiatus during the studio uh, moving. I don't know if I can be this dude's networking guy anymore. That's pretty hurtful. And I don't care for that uh, kind of stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't want to be my networking guy anymore. Um, I hope you've already mailed this stuff. Let's ditch these losers and play Animal Crossing. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Kool Aid will be over there, um, you know, playing Animal Crossing at six frames per second. That was a pretty sick burn where I come from. This was a triumph I'm making a note here a Huge success It's hard to overstate my satisfaction I put your son